So we are talking about, uh, you know, uh, disruption on many, many dimensions. Captain Ashok Pandey is a lifelong mariner and professor at the Massachusetts Maritime Academy. He says the loss of Baltimore's port is another wrench in the gears of an already strained global shipping network. Ongoing drought is slowing travel along the Panama Canal, and instability in the Middle East is creating choke points near the Suez Canal. So this is in addition to, to the, the, the current international uh, you know, uh, ramifications that we are experiencing. In 2023, more than $80 billion of international cargo passed through Baltimore's port. Some of the biggest products include foreign cars and farming equipment. Pandey says other East Coast cities like New York and Norfolk can take some of those goods that were destined for Maryland, but says the bridge's collapse will inevitably lead to log jams both at sea and on land. If all of that has to, has to be you know, divided into other ports, uh, there would be, um, you know, domino effect. That effect, Pandey says, will likely hit American consumers further down the supply chain. There will be a rise in, in cost uh, in, in the short to medium term because the bridge itself is, is, is a long term project. And Captain Pandey also spoke about those long term ramifications in this collapse. He says that with ships getting larger and larger, key ports like Baltimore need to do more to ensure safety, including expanding the use of tugboats and updating our infrastructure. Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.